Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different because today I'll be turning OG YouTuber Hannah Hart into a top model. Runway ready, runway deep. Sway them hips and work them deep. A standing ovation. It's a model transformation. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are here in my beauty room. And as you guys know, I've had MAC collaborations. I've walked the runway. I've shot campaigns. I also manage influencers. And I've been itching to glam someone up because I've been so blessed in the glam YouTube world. And being on YouTube, I've done it all on my own and by myself. So I thought, why not ask a fellow YouTuber to jump into my makeup glam fantasy and turn her into a top model? Hannah is on her way. I don't know what to expect or what she's expecting, but... Whoa, I'm so excited. Hey everybody, my name is Hannah Hart and I'm on my way to Star Studios. First of all, I didn't know Patrick had a studio. Second of all, to get a complete makeover, I guess? I don't really know what I'm doing here. I mean, I, I kind of thought we were just here for a collab, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Oh yes, really quick before she comes, let me show you guys. We don't cover all the mirrors in my place so she can't see what she's gonna look like. Come in! Ready to be transformed into top model status? Uh, am I? Hello, my name is Hannah Hart, and I am, uh, you know, frankly, one of the OG YouTubers, or at least that's what they tell me. I got my start back in March of 2011 by honestly just making a video for a friend of mine in which I got drunk and cooked. Oh my gosh, you guys, Hannah Hart is here in my domain. She just has such a sickening vibe. I love her, her energy, her being, her aura is just so sickening. And I'm excited to photograph her, but also nervous because she's been photographed so many times, but it's gonna be really cool to see her in my element with my glam and my team. Honestly, I'm here to do whatever Patrick wants. I trust him, he looks amazing, I wanna look amazing. I actually don't even know the vocabulary to describe how I wanna look, which is why I'm leaving it in Patrick's capable hands. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a top model shoot. I had to get my top model look. This is it right here, I am blonde, but she's getting glammed by Ronnie right now. I love Ronnie, he always beats my face. Angel, one of my favorites is doing my hair. Not my hair, but her hair. And then we have Kai on the threads with some sick and sick and wardrobe. But you know, I don't wanna give y'all too much because I don't like sharing, okay? But today, you know, I'll be nice, I'll play nice because it's about Hannah today. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys my mood board. So here, you know, Pinterest is my life. So I love this right here. Here is my mood board. It's a very editorial, very top model, very eleganza. And I thought the wardrobe would tie it in all together along with the hair and the makeup. I thought we would do 60s meets pops of color. So I ended up with 60s RGB, meaning like 60s, meaning red, green, and blue. So we have pops of color with a little bit of edge. And I think it'll be super fun for Hannah to channel that here with me and my photography. And it's just gonna be super fun and super sleek and fierce. Let's go see how this bitch is doing, okay? Oh my god, baby girl. Hey. How are you feeling? <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good. I, last time I checked, I think he used what I think is like an eyebrow pencil and he just drew lines on my face. Yeah, you know, honestly, I do wear makeup uh, quite often, but what I consider putting on makeup is probably different from what Patrick considers putting on makeup. For me, I call putting on mascara putting on makeup. And I, oh, girl, a uh, second question. What do, you th what do you think about wigs? Uh, I think you look great in them. When's the last time you put on a wig? Last time, I don't, I mean, sometimes I wear a wig to be um, a fake cousin of mine in Mamrie's videos. But yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, my name is Disasta, uh, but I don't think it's the same kind oh, of wig. Oh, girl. It's gonna be anything but today, <laughs> but a disaster. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ronnie is killing it on the glam. As Paris Hilton would say, killing it. Killing yeah. Loves it. And no peeking because I covered up all my freaking mirrors for you. I thought you were just a vampire. No! <laughs> oh my God, look at all this. Literally, my mood board come to life thanks to Kai Kai. The whole idea behind this, again, like I said earlier, was like RGB glam. So we got the red, the green. Obsessed. The blue. Obsessed with the colors. Was that so crazy? Good. No, I loved it. I was living for it. <laughs> we got a lot of pieces, and I was obsessed with this whole concept. So mm. loved taking the retro, that 60s vibe that you loved, and then bringing it to the now and injecting like the pops of color in there. I thought that was just oh, such wow. a cool idea. So we have so many options. It's gonna, we're gonna have to try on some stuff, girl. Okay. This? Drama. I need to see. Drama. I always bring a little drama. You know drama. what made me laugh? 
<laughs> this? Why not? These look like sunglasses for the titties. <laughs> oh my god. Girl, I'm excited to see her with the whips and chains and mm -hmm, things. A little and, SM moment. Oh, we have gloves, we have things, and obviously it's not a Patrick Star shoe without some Glam, jewelry. Gems. Yes, and range. I need these in my size, girl. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh my god, this is Angel on the wig. Hi Angel. Hello. Are you ready? How are you? long hair I think oh, 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 oh. oh I think I was like seven years old shut up you cut your hair when you were seven no I mean I just never <laughs> had it this long I probably did shoulder length a very unflattering and then it got shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and then just shaved when was your big chop I didn't have a big chop you didn't I just kind of kept gradually... shaving and shaving and doing the undercut and that whole thing oh my god are you trying to make it look like this in my hair right now no like Elsa oh like oh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Thank guys. Thank you. Had a heart and a wig. <laughs> what is life? I don't know. It feels really nice. See, for oh, me, I get questions all the time. How do you make your wigs look real? And a lot of people that want to try wigs. So dry shampoo or texturizing spray. Texturizing spray. Yeah, spray. really makes your wigs look real. And if you guys want to go ahead and try and get wiggy with it, um, a little bit of dry shampoo goes a long way. So. And then a, a really good one, too, is if you get a spray color. Just kind of dab it right there. Oh, and now then, she's got roots. And if it's too solid, you get the toothbrush and brush it out. Oh, I'm That's gonna to camouflage it. Hi, I'm Hannah. I have long hair. All right guys, Hannah is finishing getting ready. I am so excited. She looks so glam to me so far. Today we are shooting with Pro Photo Strokes. We have a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 100 millimeter lens on Capture One. That way we can see all the photos up on the screen and I am so excited. I think Hannah, oh my God. I don't even recognize you right now. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what I look like, so. Oh my gosh, are you ready to see your top model transformation? Okay, I'm so freaking ready. <laughs> Drop that cloth. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Before the reveal, I was freaking out. Not externally, but internally. In a very, ha ha ha, can't wait kind of way. Normally, I don't, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the sound of my own gloves. Okay, I'm picking up Elvin Flight Attendant Realness. Yes. Would you like coffee, tea, or a trip to Mordor? <laughs> oh my gosh. We... Wow. You are so sickening. Lady in red. <laughs> and my theme for the shoot today is going to be red, green, and blue. So we're going to... Oh, a little RGB. Yes, a little RGB today for you. So I think it's about the time to get you in some top model photos. You ready? Uh, I'm ready, baby. Let's do it. Okay, this is my look. Oh my god. <laughs> So my experience modeling is pretty limited. I mean, I consider myself a model. Have you seen my Instagram? There's a lot of really cool pictures on there. And I've been to a bunch of photo shoots, but no, I, I, I don't have any experience. As I learn more about myself as a fashion model, because obviously this is my new career now, I have discovered that I really like being, ah, oh, what's the word, extra? I think Patrick and I have a long career in fashion photography together. Uh, I look forward to getting a call back to his studio. I'm gonna submit some more looks, you know, and see, see what he thinks of them. Oh my gosh, you guys, Hannah did so amazing on today's shoot. And I think because she's another YouTuber, there's a lot more pressure because as YouTubers, we have so much control of our content. And for her to even show up and agree to this sort of collaboration meant so much to me. 
Honestly, I felt like a top model. I felt beautiful and fun and free. At the beginning of the day when I saw the looks on the rack, I was pretty nervous because I've never worn anything like that before. I'm so grateful because it really showed me that there's so much more out there I can wear. And I'm gonna leave my hair like this for the rest of the night, you know? I like this look a lot. Who knew I was such a messy bitch? So for the finale of the episode, I thought I would go ahead and throw on this top model finale wig because she ain't the only one that's a top model, baby. When I first saw the photos, I was floored. Like, I knew I was gonna look good, but I didn't realize how good. I had some doubts about Miss Hannah Hart because she's a little bit more opposite on me. She's very casual, she's very leisurely wear, she's very Relax. It was just so fun to see her just transform before not just my eyes, but everyone's eyes. We were all literally snapping and gagging. Thank you so much for coming to my studio today and turning into, and trusting me and turning into a top model girl. So I've always loved you, but now I have such a deep respect for you and what uh. you do. I mean, I was wearing a <laughs> turban for like under an hour and I was like, ow, my head. Oh girl, yes, that turban be causing me pain. It hurts and I get, I get hot and sweaty and I can't sit and like, but it looks so good. And our pictures together were so fire, Ooh. so good. And I'm so happy you got to come over. Thank you for having me, Patrick. <laughs> this has been a total blast. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks to Hannah Hart. Be sure to check out her book. What, this book? Oh my gosh, where did you get that? This is My Drunk Kitchen Holidays. If you want to have a good time this holiday season, go pre-order now at hannahart.com slash book. <laughs> also, be sure to check out my collaboration on Hannah Hart's channel. Subscribe to her YouTube, follow her on Instagram, and also be sure to check out her book. And comment down below who you guys want to see next turn into a top model. I love you all so much. See you next time. Bye. They probably just want to see me come back and do it again, yeah? Right. Right, right, right. right. right.